Hi, I'm Jared Martin, and this is my AP Biology project on chromosome 4. So DNA is found in chromosomes, which is condensed chromatin found in the nucleus, which each contain specific genes, which determine characteristics of life. And changes in this genetic genome lead to mutations, which are short-term, which can be detrimental or quite positive in evolving species over time, which is long-term. And gene mutations can come from the environment through radiation or other means, such as heredity, which is our own process of reproducing organisms through meiosis. So what we'll learn in this video includes some fun facts about chromosome 4, some genes found on chromosome 4, what a mutation is, mutations that are specific to chromosome 4 genes and their effects, and then genetic diseases in popular culture. So first let's get to know chromosome 4. Chromosome 4 happens to be the fourth largest chromosome in terms of actual size, and it is an autosome, which means it is not a sex chromosome. And approximately 6% of the total human genome is contained in chromosome 4. And the centromere isn't actually in the center of the chromosome, as you can see in the karyotype to the right. It is actually more towards the top of the chromosome. And in chromosome 4, there are approximately 1,600 genes found. So the first gene sequence and focus in this video is SNCA, which is synuclease alpha, non-A4 component of amyloid precursor. And it is used at the tips of neurons, so it helps to ensure brain function and regulation. So the first gene sequence and focus in this video is SNCA, which is also known as synuclease alpha a non-A4 component of amyloid precursor. SNCA can be located on the long end of chromosome 4, is used at the tips of neurons when it is made after transcription and translation, and helps to ensure brain function and regulation. And here you can see a neuron, and at the end of the terminals would be where SNCA would be found, allowing the two neurons to communicate with one another successfully. Another gene sequence found in chromosome 4 is HTT, or the Huntington gene, and this has multiple uses which can also be found in neurons. HTT is part of the indigenous ligands family, and you can see it's at the telomere region of the short end of chromosome 4. Another gene is HADH, or hydroxyaxyl CoA dehydrogenase, and this can be found in cellular respiration found in mitochondria, which allows many muscles and organs to function properly by providing energy to these systems through converting fatty acid chains into ketones. And you can see this is found towards the center of the long end of chromosome 4. Another gene found in chromosome 4 is CF1, or complement factor 1. And in the complement system, this is a division of the immune system, which helps to fight various pathogens such as bacteria and viruses to protect the body from various infections. FGFR3, or fibroblast growth factor receptor 3, is another protein that's produced from chromosome 4. It is a transmembrane protein, which means it interacts with the outside of the cell and inside by being inside the plasma membrane. It determines what function the cell will commit to based on the stimuli in the extracellular matrix outside of the cell. And this gene can be found also on the telomere region of the short end of chromosome 4. So mutations among us, 
they can be major or minor depending on how and where the gene is affected and they can affect one specific base which is known as a point mutation or affect a long sequence of them by affecting one through addition or deletion which then as a result affects the rest of the sequence of DNA base pairs as they are combined in sets of three so whenever one of them would be affected the rest of the sequence would be affected as well so mutations to SNCA lead to Parkinson's disease which affect various brain functions such as involuntary movement which is associated with PD it is a misfold in the protein which is produced by SNCA gene and other disorders associated include multiple system atrophy, dementia, which is found through Lewy bodies building up in sections of the brain, therefore inhibiting them from working. And HTT mutations lead to Huntington's disease. And in a normal occurrence of HTT, the CAG DNA base sequence repeats 10 to 35 times normally but abnormally it occurs 36 to over 120 times leading to increased chance of developing the disorder and further generations increase the probability of receiving Huntington's disease so HADH mutations lead to HADH deficiency which is a lack of the ability to produce ketones which is necessary energy to provide function throughout the entire body and without this HADH the body feels lethargic and low blood sugar will form and fatty acids that aren't broken down can deposit in these organs and affect major body systems similarly in CF1 mutations there is a CF1 deficiency which means that the immune system becomes disorderly as lack of protein leads to autoimmune diseases as the complement system attacks everything not just bacterial and viral pathogens therefore the immune system's defenses becomes much less effective leading to much more severe cases of infection Mutations to FGFR3 lead to various diseases such as achondroplasia, hypochondroplasia, chrysodermoskeletal syndrome, bladder cancer, and other diseases. And achondroplasia is short limbed dwarfism, which is a result of bone growth being affected. And FGFR3 mutations cause almost all of achondroplasia cases. And mutations may cause abnormal cell division in the bladder, which leads to bladder cancers. So famous genetic disease patients include Michael J. Fox, who is famous for the movies Teen Wolf and the Back to the Future series, also has Parkinson's disease. And he created a foundation in his own name to research Parkinson's disease. Another famous person is Muhammad Ali who has Parkinson's disease and Woody Guthrie who is famous for this land is your land had Huntington's disease before he passed away thank you for watching this video I appreciate it and have a great day everybody